On the 26th of April 1986, the Chernobyl disaster occurred in the city of Chernobyl, Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. The Chernobyl disaster was a nuclear accident that occurred when four nuclear reactors blew up due to workers' mistakes. The accident was the largest radioactive discharge ever recorded, and it caused radioactive material to be sent into the atmosphere for 10 days. The radiation spread for miles, killing everyone in its path, but its official death toll is unaccounted for and ranges from a few to thousands, with the official Soviet death toll at 31 people from the disaster itself. More than 600,000 decontamination workers, also known as liquidators, were sent into Chernobyl in an effort to help clean up and neutralize the nuclear radiation. The Chernobyl accident dominates the energy accident subcategory of most dangerous nuclear power plant accident in history, both in terms of cost and casualties. It's one of only two nuclear energy accidents classified as a level 7 event on the international nuclear event scale, the other being the Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan in 2011. During the accident, blast effects caused two deaths within the facility, and later 29 firemen and employees died in days to months after from acute radiation syndrome, with the potential for long-term cancers still being investigated. The Chernobyl divers had the task of draining the pool of water that was located beneath the reactor. The pool of water was there for emergencies in case the cooling pumps or steam pipes broke. When the explosion occurred, the pool was flooded with dirty water from firefighting and from many broken pipes. This caused the materials around the reactor floor to heat up and mix together to create a lava-like radioactive liquid. This liquid was feared to cause a mass steam explosion that would hit Europe, and cause a larger amount of damage. The only way of opening the pool and draining it was to dive into the radioactive water and open the gates. Over the following days, more than 5 million gallons of water were released from below the plant. A report later confirmed that without the work of Valery Basbalov, Alexei Ananiko and Boris Baranov, a nuclear explosion would have taken place. With full knowledge of the danger and with basic scuba gear and a dodgy lamp, they dived down to find the valve. Despite Boris's lamp failing while diving down, the trio found the valve to open the gates and swam back up. 20,000 tons of water was drained out, and a report stated that had the dive not taken place to open the gates, a thermonuclear explosion would have occurred as a result. Chernobyl is still considered uninhabitable today, but is open to tour visits and is said to have low unharmful levels of radiation. The Chernobyl disaster has been linked to the increase in radiation levels in the majority of the countries across Europe. The divers of the Chernobyl disaster risked their lives to extreme levels of radiation exposure in order to save the lives of thousands, but they wanted to avoid the unthinkable damages that could have impacted or destroyed parts of Europe, and possibly other countries or the world. They essentially chose to risk their lives for their own core values, their core values are community, because their community was damaged, but it would have been more damaged if they didn't do what they did. Another core value is responsibility, because they felt responsible for the people of Europe that the radiation could have spread to. Another core value is loyalty, because they were loyal to their country by not letting the radiation spread. They had an impact to the world around them, because many other people could have died from the radiation. Now there seems to be confusion as to the fate of the men, Many sources state that by the time the men surfaced from under the reactor, all three were showing signs of severe radiation poisoning. Ultimately, none of them survived for more than a few weeks. But up until recently, these events may have been false. Some sources also incorrectly claim that they died there in the plant. However, research by Andrew Leverbarrow, author of the 2016 book Chernobyl, determined that the frequently recounted story is an exaggeration. Alexei Ananiko continues to work in the nuclear energy industry, while Valery Bespalov was found to still be alive by Leverbarrow, and the 65-year-old Baranov had lived until 2005 and died of heart failure. Regardless of their outcomes, these heroes saved the lives of hundreds of thousands. The names of these three men should never be forgotten.